Welcome to the HyperMesh 2023 Quick Start for HyperWorks Legacy Professionals video series. It is meant for you, as a proficient user with the HyperWorks Legacy interface, to get efficiently introduced to the new user experience of HyperMesh 2023.0. This is video 6 of 6, Introducing to Mesh Operations. Use the tool finder to search for the tools to which legacy panel functionality has been moved. Like to identify where the ruled tool is located now. Use the search field to check for terms from legacy hyperworks and be pointed to their location in ribbons and tools. Like searching for auto mesh will bring up general 2D mesh in the list. Note that F12 is available to enter the tool. General 2D Mesh works comparable to Auto Mesh. In the default interactive mode, you get to a second stage of the tool where you can change density, biasing, and mesh type, face edit. The options menu offers the settings like size, order, and connectivity. Also, edge and surface deviation can be defined here. Further meshing tools are available in the tool switch. RB2 and RB3 creation is available in model rigids. Set the selector to elements then double click any element or right click and choose edit one element to review and edit its details. Editing like creating or splitting elements or moving or replacing nodes is available under 2D edit elements. The QI color mode can be activated under the options. Temp nodes are called free nodes and can be created newly by coordinate or between, or as display representation under topology create points. Clearing nodes is also available in this tool. Alternatively use delete from the right click menu. To create points and nodes in circle centers, hold Ctrl pressed while selecting three nodes. Edges, faces and equivalencing of duplicate nodes is available in separate tools under Validate. Check elements is done through the element quality color mode. Select a criterion to isolate elements failing it. Right-click the legend to edit the thresholds or choose further options. To check for duplicate elements or free 1D elements nodes, you can run those individual checks from the model checker. Rebuild offers automatic remesh of elements based on the perm file. Optionally activate to create washers for holes. Holes of non-circular shape can also be processed. Create and populate a custom ribbon by drag and drop to assemble your favorite tools on your own ribbons. You may dock off such ribbons to have them permanently in front view. Alternatively, consider using extensions. or the tool belt, which can be called with Alt and right click. This concludes the last of the six videos of the HyperMesh 2023 Quick Start for HyperWorks Legacy Professionals video series. Supplementary you may want to follow selected chapters of the HyperWorks 2023 introduction video exercises, which go into detail and have related tips and tricks sections per chapter. For further deepening of your knowledge, follow an e-learning from learn.altair.com or book an instructor-led class. Thanks for watching.